Hi everybody, I'm so sorry that I can't be there today. I am missing you a lot. This is basically one of the last things we're going to learn about this year. And this is about our brain. So what you're going to do is you're going to watch this Ed puzzle. You're going to fill out your notes. You're going to turn your notes in and the answers to this question in the Ed puzzle for a grade, for a classwork grade today. So work really hard and um, it won't be too bad. Hopefully we'll get done fast. So the nervous system, basically all you have to know are what are the major regions of the brain and how many lobes are in the human brain. Okay, so believe it or not, um, there's that rumor out there that you only use 10% of your brain. That's actually false. You do use more than 10% of your brain. The human brain weighs about three pounds and it makes up 2% of your body weight, but it consumes 20% of the body's daily energy. That's about 300 calories per day. This is why we call it brain food. You have to actually eat to fuel your brain. Okay, so these are the different brains in the animal kingdom. Now you can see here the wrinkled layer, outer layer of the brain. The, see all these wrinkles on the brain? These are all responsible for language, reasoning, and information processing. So just what you're listening to me right now about, that's what the wrinkles are for. It contains 16 billion neurons, more than any other animal. So look at how large the human brain is compared to our closest cousins, which are the chimpanzees and the bamboo, uh, the baboon, all those monkeys. The bear brain is also quite large, but they are a very large mammal. And the giraffe brain is also very large, but they are also very large animals. So we're much smaller than they, than when they are, and our brains are much bigger. This helps basically explain our enhanced thinking abilities, okay? Okay, so there are basically four major regions of the brain, and how you're going to remember it is with the acronym flower pot. Flower stands for frontal. Uh, the P in pot is parietal lobe. The O is occipital lobe and the T is temporal lobe. Okay. Now the occipital lobe, this is actually responsible for your eyesight. So the frontal lobe the part in pink, that's actually the front of your brain. That makes sense, right? It's the front, the frontal lobe. The back of your brain, the very, very back, is known as the occipital lobe. This is where you see. You basically have eyes in the back of your head because your occipital lobe processes what you see. And the temporal lobe, that one's pretty easy. That's what's found at your temples. So... If you are looking at your notes, you don't really have a ton to write just yet. What I do want you to do is take a minute and see if you can label some of the major parts of the brain using the key, okay? So if you take a look at your worksheet here, so far you should be able to label this pink part of the brain right here. This pink part, light pink part, that is the frontal lobe. This yellow part here, that's the temporal lobe. This spot right here in the back, that's the occipital lobe. And this part at the very top, that's the parietal lobe. So if we're going from the very front of the brain, the frontal lobe, that's flower. Then the purple, the light purple part of your brain, that's the parietal. The green part is occipital. Yellow part is temporal, flower pot. So fill that in for me. And I also want you to write right here your mnemonic device right here. Write that down, okay? So you can write down my mnemonic device, which is flower pot. 
or you can come up with your own. How are you going to remember that the front part of the brain, this front part right here, that's the frontal, light purple is parietal, green is occipital, and the yellow is temporal. You can come up with your mnemonic device for that one, okay? All right, so write those down. Okay, so this is what um, I was just asking you to do. I would like for you to create a mnemonic device, including the terms below that you will help you remember the regions of the brain. So I just talked to you about the lobes of the brain, and now we have five different regions of the brain. We have the cerebrum, cerebellum, the pons, the medulla oblongata, and the brainstem. Okay, now, how are you going to remember that the cerebrum is basically this huge part over here that's circled in green? The cerebellum kind of looks like cauliflower, and that's the bottom part of your brain. The pons, that's the light green one. The medulla is red. The medulla oblongata is red. And the brain stem is, um, sorry, the medulla oblongata is purple and the brain stem is red. Think about it. Maybe you can come up with something clever if you're going from this direct, from the top down. It would be C, C, B, M, P. Maybe cheese creates bunches. I have no idea. Just come up with one on your own, and you're going to go ahead and write that in right here, your mnemonic device for the major parts of the brain, and I'd like for you to label them as well. Label these parts of the brain. So we should have up here with the frontal lobe, we don't really have a ton to label. Now there's some things that I don't want you to label at all. Um, the most important ones, this whole big area that's wrinkled, this big wrinkled area, that is the cerebrum, this whole thing. All the wrinkled parts, that's the cerebrum. The cerebellum, that's this thing down here. It's really, I don't even know how you describe it. Um, I don't know, kind of wrinkly and circular. Then the medulla oblongata, that's down here. That's this part right here. And then the pons is just above it. And the brain stem is all the way down here, okay? That's the stem of the brain that goes down into your spinal cord. So go ahead and fill those in. Okay. So if you haven't been able to do this yet, you should be able to draw or label the diagram, okay? This blue part on your brain in your notes should be labeled the frontal lobe. This is the parietal lobe. I remember the parietal lobe because this is where girls wear their ponytails, P for parietal. The ponytails are right on the back of their head. The temple, I'm um, sorry, the occipital lobe is all the way in the back, like eyes in the back of your head and then your temporal lobe is right by your temples. Okay, I would like for you to, um, we're gonna actually do this activity tomorrow where I have some artificial brains that you're going to label the parts, okay? So we'll come back to that, okay? All right, now let's look at the functions. The major functions, this is what you're going to write down in your notes. So, the function of the frontal lobe, the function, actually we'll start with the temporal lobe because that's what's at the top of your notes. The temporal lobe, this is for hearing. This makes sense because it's right next to your ears. The function of the temporal lobe is hearing. Fine motor skills like being able to manipulate your fingertips. Short-term memory and taste. All of these are your temporal lobe. If you need to pause the video, you can to uh, write this down in your notes, but these are the basically all of the 
functions of the parts of the brain. So that was the temporal lobe. Let's move on to the occipital lobe. The occipital is basically all just for vision. Vision, vision, vision. That's occipital. The parietal lobe. This receives touch and pain language. So for touch and pain is the parietal lobe. And then motor skills and cognition. So thinking, that's your frontal lobe. If you hit your head, especially the front of your head, you can often get a concussion on your frontal lobe. This can damage your thinking, okay? And your motor skills, including speech. Okay, we have to protect our brains for sure. So, in case you aren't sure where to write this down, you should be writing these down, these functions right here, pretty simple, right here. The temporal lobe, the occipital lobe, parietal lobe, and frontal lobe functions. Okay, what you're going to do now is you're going to click on the link under Canvas and fill out the Google Doc. Actually, it's a GoFormative. Fill out the GoFormative using your mnemonic device and your notes. So you're going to have three grades from today. You're going to have this Ed Puzzle, the completion of this Ed Puzzle, the completion of your notes, and the GoFormative. Miss you guys a lot. I will see you tomorrow. I promise I'll be there and um, make sure you work hard. Once you're done, you're done. You can work on anything you owe me. Um, if, you owe, if you don't owe me anything, then you're pretty much done. See you soon.